Americans traditionally love to fight. All real Americans love the sting of battle. And whether or not Americans okay. love war, we certainly love our soldiers, and we definitely love to watch movies about them. Now, for Veterans Day, there are certainly a lot of movies to choose from, but one that I think is particularly interesting is Franklin J. Schaffner's Patton. Now, dominating this movie is George C. Scott as George S. Patton. It's a phenomenal performance, and it shows all of the different sides of this very complicated character. God help me, I do love it so. He's a brilliant military strategist and a charismatic commander of soldiers in the field. Patton is also a fluent speaker of French, a student of ancient and modern military history, and something of a poet. As if through a glass and darkly, the age-old strife I see, where I fought in many guises, many names, but always me. The movie starts out with a brilliant early triumph in 1943 in the North African desert, and then follows Patton as he lands in Sicily and races toward Messina. First, Phoenicians, Romans, Carthaginians, Byzantines, then came the Arabs, Spaniards, Neapolitans. Now comes the American army. This string of victories is disrupted by an odd mishap. Patton slaps an enlisted man in a field hospital in Italy Shut up! and is sternly rebuked and relieved of his command and has to sit on the sidelines while his rivals and allies organize the D-Day invasion. God will not permit this to happen. I am going to be allowed to fulfill my destiny. He finally gets a second chance and throws himself into battle, leading his army on an almost unprecedented string of victories over the Germans through France, across the lines, and toward Berlin. No other outfit in the world. Pull out of a winter battle, move a hundred miles, go into a major attack with no rest, no sleep, no hot food. God. God, I'm proud of these men. The drama in Patton is really about the tension between this man's character, his force of personality, his creativity, his impulsiveness, and an institution that's very rigid and bureaucratic and hierarchical. Patton is certainly the portrait of a maverick, but while it's a story of military heroism and glory, it's also a tale of frustration and defeat. It's about an old soldier who fades away when his job is done. The conqueror rode in a triumphal chariot the dazed prisoners walking in chains before him. Sometimes his children, robed in white, stood with him in the chariot or rode the trace horses. A slave stood behind the conqueror, holding a golden crown and whispering in his ear a warning that all glory is fleeting. <laughs> 